Hello there, this is Tom Mine, and this is going to be a playthrough of Sa Sayano Uta. Is that the yeah, that's the right one. And I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I like the main screen because you like sometimes you can't even see the options. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Gross. <laughs> I was saying gross to what you said, not these sounds. Well, when, when I first put in the patch, like the English patch, I thought I thought like I did it wrong. I thought the game was bugging out when I saw this. <laughs> okay, we we don't need to hear that. Oh, I, who's gonna start reading me or you? You can start. Three such creatures are sitting around the table in front of me, slurping filthy sludge from their cups as they trade whines, growls, and sounds that I can hardly describe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By listening carefully, I'm able to grasp the gist of their conversation. This allows me to barely avoid arousing their suspicion. I can stay out of it as long as... They're just talking amongst themselves, but I can't ignore them if they speak to me. However they may look, they are my friends, apparently. Beautiful Is this supposed to be a teenager? Yes. Oh, he looks no, like no, he's no, like no. in his mid-20s. I mean college students. Okay. I want to deny it, of course, but I gave up on that a long time ago. Each night I went to sleep wishing that this would turn out to be a nightmare. Yet each morning I w awoke to find that the world was just as horribly warped as it was the day before. I have to live while blending in, while acting like one of them, just as I've done these past three months. I'll continue to do so for the rest of my life. I believe he's in med school, actually. Oh. Uh, judging by its, its tone, it sounded the same as every other noise. Judging by its tone, this one must be Koji, and the one next to him squealing more than the others is probably Omi. Which means that the next, the one next to me must be Yo. Though I can no longer see any trace of her once refined features, I try my best to ignore the rotten stench of the excrement that t issues that issues from her quivering flesh. Issues. What is that? It's a weird word to use. You want to read some? Yeah. <laughs> Everything has changed completely. While everything appears different to me, my relationship to the world alone is the same. These creatures were part of the same college club as me, and we used to be pretty good friends. We even went skiing every winter break. Well, that sounds great. Now these are but fond memories of days that will never return. If only everyone, including my friends, had forgotten about me. I might have been able to disconnect myself from the world. It would have been comforting, in comparison, to believe that I had been abducted by aliens and taken to a different planet or something. Um, however, this is definitely Japan on planet Earth, and this is the city where I was born and raised, the society that I was part of for 20 odd years. But I, and I alone, can no longer see it that way. <clears throat> I no longer recognize the world. I have no place to call home. That's so depressing. But just then... <laughs> How do you say that? I, I guess I'll take over from right now. Hey, Fuminori. One of the... Relish Lump says as it swivels his bloodshot eyes towards me, what do you think? Don't. About what he says in his voice, so I guess I don't have to read that. I desperately try to suppress my loathing and behave, behave normally, but my hoarse voice ruins the attempt. There's, there's, I, I don't know if I should call this voice. Should I read this stuff, or...? I mean... Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of gurgles going on. Does that count as the voice acting? <laughs> nice. Uh, we're talking about this year's skiing trip. You're coming too, right? A slimy hole near the top of the creature rides na nauseatingly as it vomits some semblance of words. Uh, so that must be Koji's head. Face and mouth, or whatever, or rather, 
what I would have seen as such three months ago. So he understands them. Sometimes. <laughs> but like, what if he understands them? What were all those gurgles for earlier that he didn't understand? Uh, I have no idea. Unable to bring myself to look at it, I avert my eyes and give a neutral answer. You have other plans? It asks. Yeah, that's neat. Koji was one of my best friends, as was everyone else here. They were all precious to me, and one of them had even desired to be more than just friends. How many nights have I spent crying in loneliness, lamenting the friends who no longer exist? Uh, you can take over for now. Okay. <clears throat> in three months, I cried myself dry, and now there is only loathing left in me. Surrounded by fleshy creatures that I can only assume are Koji, Umi, and Yo. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> I spend each day trying to act like I always have. If I fail at this, I'll probably be sent back to the hospital. Oh, wow. <laughs> but this time, I'll be locked away forever. No matter what, I mustn't let that happen. So he's trying to assimilate, I guess. I guess, yeah. Hey, it's not like physical activity could affect your injuries, right? No, it's I'm him talking. Oh, they're talking? Yeah, this is voice acting. It's kind of hard to tell for you because you can't hear anything. <clears throat> I'm at my limit. I can't look at them or listen to their terrible voices any longer. Losing my patience, I jump to my feet. Hey, Fuminari. A spray of stringy slime from the cilia wrangling around its voice box flies towards me. I try to cover myself, but it's too late to keep the slime from splattering across my face like the yolk of a rotten egg. Okay, so like, is it only him who's seeing this and everyone else is normal? Yeah. So what exactly is splattering across his face in real life right now? Uh, or is he just imagining that something is happening like that? Yeah, I mean that could possibly be. But maybe it's he's spitting when he's speaking to him. Oh, I, I, I and he's guess. just like, over exaggerating yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll pick up from now. I'm on <laughs> the verge of losing it. I want to grab a chair, a desk, anything within reach, and use it to smash the life out of this creature, ending it all. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I barely suppress the impulse. I have to avoid arousing their suspicion, however they look to me. However they look to me, this is their world. I'm the outsider here. I try to fake a smile, but I'm not, sh I'm not sure it works. Reaching into my wallet, I pull out the first bill I find and put it on the table without looking at it. It's probably enough for the drink I ordered, and I don't care about the change, I just want to get out of there as soon, as fast as possible. I leave, quite literally running for my life. I'm not crazy. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> so this is the other side of the conversation? I guess so, there's voice acting. Uh, Tsukuba Yo frowns at the suggestion. <laughs> you can go now. Okay. Um, to know Koji supports Omi with a laugh. Her sudden statements are nothing new, and it's Koji's role as her boyfriend to provide backup. To Yo, they seem like a good match for each other. Sometimes it makes her jealous. Nanseo <clears throat> <laughs> 
あの靴<笑>なんだか刃物みたいでさでもいきなりやってしまったの Not really. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of the art style in this. Yorio a ski to so carmon janaikana. Jushin o mini dashte, Kusuno mino heride, controls the Kankaktoga. Kojini, so you are at a monda carasa. The Masareta to Motte at the Mitawakio. So stella mota no skate. What? Okay, why'd that happen? Oh, so it was a date. Yo feels a stab of envy. Koji and Omi enjoy their time together like normal lovers do. That's certainly not something to be jealous of. It's just that Yo's luck has been bad. <laughs> Yo, why does it do that? Yo keeps her voice upbeat, trying to cover up her inner conflict. Yo knows that she mustn't be envious or blame luck. She has a special person too. It's because of the terrible tragedy that befell him that he doesn't spend any time with her. His is true mis misfortune, the sort that makes unluckiness pale in comparison. だからさ、ね、今度のスキー旅行ついでにスケートリンクにしちゃえば2倍美味しく楽しいってわけよ。でもさ、スケートはスケートリンクに行けばできるじゃない。わざわざスキー場に行ってまでやる。I've never heard of a ski resort with like a an ice rink. I also didn't know skating was so popular in Japan. Is it? Well, earlier one of them said that it's finished talking. Okay, earlier but one of them said that it's kind of weird for someone to learn skating in their twenties. I heard like skiing being like. Yes, they like skiing. I didn't never really saw much skating though. Mm. I just like come with the territory, I guess. Do you want me to read this? Yeah. While speaking, Yo sneaks a sideways glance at him. Although the conversation has only involved Koji and Omi, with Yo supporting their bear their lively banter. There are clearly two couples sitting at the cafeteria table. In other words, Yo's boyfriend. Though, there is still some doubt over whether he could be called that, is also sitting with them. Nah, Minori. Omae wa doumo? That's Yo. Oh, sorry. Maybe Kyoji sensed the pain in Yo's heart in his in his usual quiet and considerate way. Oh, sorry. The cause of Yo's distress, Saki Saka Fuminori, responds to Koji's sudden query with a vague, mumbled question of his own. There's voice acting, but there's no nothing written down. What's he saying? Oh. <laughs> Koji speaks gingerly, as though probing a tumor. A few months ago, he wouldn't have hesitated to firmly rebuke Fuminori for his attitude. Their long acquaintance had forged a friendship that needed no restraint. <clears throat> so this is the other side of the conversation. Yeah. Originally. <clears throat> okay. Um. After the quotes. Okay. Fuminari responds bluntly, his downcast eyes and sullen demeanor making it clear that he has no desire to break his silence. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> I guess I'll go. Even, even, oh. Oh, <laughs> even Koji, who should be Fuminori's best friend, cannot communicate with him as he could before. It should go without saying that Yo can't find a thing to say. The scars left by the events of that late summer day are still deep months later. Each of the four bears them, not only Fuminori. Nah. <laughs> I think that's interesting how they decided to do that. Mm-hmm. 
As though that answer drained the last of his patience, Fuminori bolts out of his chair. Oi, Fuminori. Even Koji can't keep his voice from rising a little as he tries to stop Fuminori from leaving. Fuminori reacts swiftly, throwing his hand over his face as though trying to shield himself from something terrifying. Maybe some spittle flew in on you. Some spittle flew inadvertently from Koji's mouth, but that's the sort of thing that happens occasionally during everyday conversation. At least there wasn't enough spit for Yoda to see clearly. It's certainly nothing you'd try to frantically protect yourself from. So yeah, you were right about that. Even if he was spit on, Fuminori's reaction was extremely unpleasant. Oh wow. <laughs> Fuminori snaps, making no attempt to relieve the discomfort of his friends. <clears throat> Even as he tosses money into the table, presumably to pay for his coffee, he acts like he's touching something filthy. Oh. With a hurried strive, stride that makes it seem as though he's running away, Fuminari leaves the cafeteria. Still cloaked in heavy silence, the remaining three lower their gaze to the table, where the abandoned 10,000 yen bill sways forlornly. For, wait, forlornly. 10,000 yen bill? Isn't that a That's like a thousand dollar bill. Is it? Yeah, like a hundred yen is a dollar. <laughs> well, I guess he's paying for everybody. Looking closely, they see that Fuminori's coffee is untouched. You really yeah, wanted to get out of there. Aomi hmm. sighs. Is the voice acting? Yeah, she said that. I'm oh, sorry. No, like the stuff. Not she doesn't say the stuff that's not in quotes. Oh, uh, but Kyoji shakes his head reproachfully. Fuminori, you are. I'll take over next. Okay. だってもう It was a tragedy that could have happened to anyone. A tractor trailer flipped over, crushing the Sakisaka family into twisted scrap. They, s they said it had even been difficult to tell the corpses of Fuminori's mother and father apart. For a while, it looked as if there was no hope for Fuminori's survival. That he was able to leave the hospital and return to his life was nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> He was terrified of us like he didn't know who we were and freaked out so bad that he had to be tied to the bed. I'm just glad he's made it this far. Oh wait, oh he was saying that? I thought it ended up there. Whoops. Mm. <laughs> Koji says forcefully, his words of restraint probably less out of empathy for his friend than out of consideration for Yo. While Koji's kindness makes her happy, Yo also knows that as Koji says, she mustn't depend on it. Fuminori is the victim, he's the one who most deserves sympathy. You can go. Okay. Um, Yo's feelings for Fumin uh, Fuminori are her problem and no one else's. She doesn't blame Fuminori for not responding to her immediately after she finally worked up the courage to confess to him. In fact, she thinks more fondly of him for his serious consideration of her feelings than she would have had given, had he given a quick casual answer. So he hasn't accepted her yet, or? That might have happened in the past, and he eventually did. Okay. Assuming that just because Fuminori didn't turn Yo down, they were essentially a couple, 
Koji and Omi have plenty of fun at their expense. However, oh. he still hasn't given her an answer. Well, I guess not, no. He didn't, didn't give him an... Hmm? I said it sounds like they're just assuming that they're together. Yeah. After revealing her feelings to him, Yo didn't see Fuminari again until a week later, and then she could only stare at his severely wounded body through the window of the ICU. Well, that's tough. What's an ICU? Um, intensive care unit. Oh, all right. So when you're really hurt. Yeah. And when he was finally released, after 50 days that seemed like an eternity, he was somehow different. She's starting to doubt that he even remembers what she confessed to him before the accident. Now winter is coming, with her feelings still hanging in the air. Next scene? Yep. Alright, well, I think we're gonna end it there. Alright, that good for you? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Thank All right, you well, for letting me sit in on this with you. Yeah, just put in the comments like if the audio in some ways needs to be improved. So, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.